Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Uh, this video is for anybody new arriving uh, to explain um, what it is my channel is all about. I received visions back in 2014 for three weeks, day and night, about energy travel and the fact that energy and matter are separate. The visions carried on after that, um, but not all day and all night. And uh, for the past five years, I have put all these visions on video and so today I'm going to do like a highlight reel uh, showing you what I have done so that you could decide if I'm crazy or if I'm telling the truth because most people think God and science don't mix which is unfortunate um, I've shown that um, there isn't any science without God and that many things that you have been taught uh, indoctrinated with through education um, a lot of these scientific facts are actually misplaced and unproven and in most times incorrect lies so I'm just going to show the things that I've shown I'll start at our latest video and I'll go back to my very first video all right without further ado let's get on all right this is the Ark of the Covenant and Ezekiel's wheels and eyes explained God's absolute mystery revealed and uh, this shows things like the fact that there is uh, no field at the inertial line of a magnet and so magnets don't reciprocate uh, I then showed the two wings on the arc are in fact on a magnet and then I showed Ezekiel's eyes moving and showing that wheels have eyes, especially in the electromagnetic world. Who's next? Uh, this video is the coming tsunami, the great and terrible day of the Lord. Um, this is where I show on the screen is uh, spheres created by a magnetic field, um, which goes along with all electric universe theory of how suns are created by magnetism. Um, I then go on to show, to show how and why um, a Birkeland current creates a sphere by uh, rotation of field. Uh, this video is called Water Lilies on a Magnet. Jesus is described as a magnet. Sorry, he's not described as a magnet. He is described as the lily and a lily is formed from an uh, electromagnetic field. So God is proven to be energy. And this is where I show the different magnetic field arrangements and uh, actually that in the center there is uh, the signature for 1748 Hertz, which I showed on a different video. This is my sons on a string theory proven on Earth with a magnet. And that, of course, is where I show again um, sphere creation using a magnetic field. This video talks about Elijah and he comes to do what and on this video I show two magnets stuck together and the halo fields that separate them and how it uh, corresponds to the Chandra picture of the Vela Pulsar jet um, in every way because everything is called by, caused by electricity and magnetism and this is where two Birkeland currents are meeting at a Z pinch point and between two magnets is a Z pinch point as seen by the field it creates. I'm just changing the opacity there so that you can see one on top of the other. This is I explain Shiva and his trident and drum based upon electromagnetic field signatures and so they all correspond this of course is where I show 3d magnetic fields um, in a fashion that nobody else has ever shown them uh, because God is very very clever and wise and uh, led me along to show you exactly how to see every connection
this is from the rock sprang of lily and basically showing that a uh, um, a ball will also appear on a magnet which is how we are kept out from the sun we are electromagnetically pushed away like you see on screen and that's uh, being created in water by a magnetic field the edge of a magnet it is doing that to the water and reshaping it this was my prediction that the magnetic inertia line confirmed and this is where there is a line at the inertia line as you can see there there are two sides on that magnet north is facing towards us south is facing away and we see a clear distinction at the inertia line proving magnets do not reciprocate this was my uh, video showing that magnets will move broccoli cheese and plastic plastic pen lid being moved by magnets people say magnets don't affect things well they do and I explain why this was one of my original videos of how spheres are created on a magnet so it's not like I've not done this video before and it's done by the rotation of the field like that and so it creates spheres when you put two helixes together to form a double helix this is where I uh, first showed that magnets create spheres back in uh, 2018 this was my video about instantaneous action at a distance explained using double helix energy flow uh, back at the beginning of 2018 and basically it's a screw action as I keep showing electromagnetic fields have double helix fingers and it rotates, ma rotates matter in or out and that's how instantaneous action happens at a distance because if one end of the screw turns the other end of the screw immediately turns there's no movement of anything everything moves at once this was my video back in 2017 showing the best ferro, ferro cell videos on the planet I show moving magnetic fields and three-dimensional magnetic fields relatively speaking the view from a ferro cell um, can be a lie it just depends on if you know what you're looking for and how to interpret the 2d effect in three dimensions which I already had so we're back into 2017 now this is where I explain the diatom magnetic field and the fact that these are sound bubbles uh, somebody photographed or 3d rendered sound bubbles and I've said that this is how magnetic fields propagate and I show different kind of effects to clarify the idea of why something looks like it does it's because it has a diatom surface I do time-lapse videos as well I've done time-lapse of the stars time-lapse of clouds and insects and plants and trees you name it and this is shown Ezekiel's wheels in our atmosphere and if you watch this video you will see the rotation of clouds as energy meets matter creating clouds and differences in pressure differentials and temperature variations create uh, clouds to appear and disappear it is energy movements that causes clouds to appear this of course is one of my time lapses um, North Star is the uh, one at the bottom there or in the middle bottom is the one that's barely moving that's how you know it's the North Star so I've been able to look at the different variations and show that stars uh, are crossing the paths of other stars the stars are actually moving in the sky wavering in and out in their orbits and crossing paths with other stars this is me just inventing stuff uh, to have fun.
because science is fun. So this was me making a couple of uh, magician's wands to show more incredible features of the magnetic field. This video is where I uh, managed to show six vortices on a two vortice magnet, which of course is impossible if there is only one vortex. There aren't, there are mil hundreds, millions of them, whatever you want to size them at. Um, it's a diatom surface. Every one of those beams is a vortice. And so if you stack a different pile of plates, ferro plates around the magnet, you will see as many vortices as uh, ferro plates you can put on there. I managed to get six in this one, uh, but you'd have to go and watch that video. This is the Ra bird explained as a power symbol and mag electromagnetism. Um, I've done several videos on several cultures. This video is called the Sikh power turbine, which of course um, many uh, aspects of a magnet can be shown to uh, relate to every single other culture. And the crossover point here with the magnet shows the weaving of the turban. And it's fully explained on the video. This video is called Scroll Lock Revisited and how I make my visuals, um, which is basically again showing the scroll lock. It's an extremely easy, easy repeatable experiment. And then of course I show and tell exactly how um, to see the scroll lock that meets at the inertial line because magnets don't reciprocate and so on this video I show that I have my plate at an angle so that it can be seen what I'm doing I have the magnet strapped underneath that on an angle against the lights and so you see more this was just the 3D Ouroboros field revealed and predictions that I'd said about connections uh, were proven. 2017, Mark. This video was about the Z-pinch uh, connection that magnets make. Um, this is when I had a terrible camera, um, but I've shown and explained what the Z-pinch is. And I've got three or four videos uh, talking about a Z-pinch and what you're actually looking at and what you uh, need to understand is that this is a connection of fingers and is clearly definable as also again meeting at the inertial line. Two lumps on either side means they both go in to the inertial line in a z-pinch. This was my invention of the halo plate um, which meant that I could see all of the magnet. It became a full immersion viewer. It was no longer you put it on one side or you put it on the other. It meant you could pass it through and see the field disappear, thereby getting rid of any thoughts of reciprocation on a magnet because the observable evidence totally negates the educational explanation of magnets. And observable evidence is king. Uh, this is where I invented the halo plate and it immediately uh, destroyed reciprocation due to the fact that it immediately showed there was no field there. The video wasn't so good so I mean obviously I've made more that show the field disappearing but this is where I first understood that everything meets at the inertial line. Now this video is how a sun black hole or any surface works. Just looking at this picture you can see that there are lines coming out from the edge of that round circle. That's sand and water, and that's the effect it makes. And when you watch any of my videos, um, you will see that matter comes in and goes out when you place it in water. I've likened the sun to doing this, and uh, now they're saying that the solar wind pulls things in and pushes them back. So what does my surface do? My surface sends things out and keeps them there. I'm just using glitter here. Um, I've got a couple of other examples using sand, ash, uh, and many other things. But it rotates matter in as well as rotating matter out because a double helix does both. One side pushes out, rotates out, one side rotates in. 
This is where I explain the Supernova 1987A brightening explained with a simple video using an Ouroboros field. It got sucked into the vortex in the center and then all that white material was flushed out in an Ouroboros field exactly the same as Supernova 1987A with its brightening. Matter went in, became part of the Ouroboros field and brightened the field. This is where I explained the Ouroboros energy field back in 2017 uh, showing that an Ouroboros field will move particles in and out and I draw plenty of schematics to show all this happening. I then show that if you place something, a piece of string, inside this rotating Ouroboros field which is just uh, bloody adverts which is just water rolling in uh, a plate. So I have water coming in and then I roll this into the Ouroboros field that is created and um, it pulls this in and then rotates it within the field which is uh, basically how we are held within the field um, of the Sun. That is our orbit around the Sun is based upon the fact that we are held in place. This is where uh, the Pictish symbols were solved by double helix energy flow uh, based on all the kind of drawings that I've been doing. Um, it is again defined as um, energy pictures, things that happened in space which of course are all electromagnetic. Now, I did a black hole philosophy video theory and then um, I believe it was confirmed due to the pictures involved of what they say will happen and what I managed to get happen with water and a light. Unfortunately my internet connection is down to, what are we down to now? 360. So uh, understand the problems I have trying to make videos and uploading them. So uh, if the picture's terrible it's because I'm now down to 360p. What's it, what is even that now on the screen? Oh that's part of the video. Anyway, this was where in 2017 my black hole philosophy was confirmed by the things seen. Side jets from a black hole and we have a halo or a borus field around it. So that was enough. This again is angle what? Mystery solved due to things done, things seen, and things found in experiments with magnetism. Everything is about an energy arrangement. This is where all of my motion diagrams that I've drawn and said this should happen are confirmed uh, with an object passing through another object and the wave motion created afterwards completely conforms to what I had drawn about a magnetic field and that if energy passes through an object object it will rotate and it will rotate in a certain manner and I drew it and then I found a video by somebody else called laser impact on a drop and the effects are the same so energy through matter always produces the same effect. This is where I show our electric th sun through a piece of paper and I show all the different kinds of effects it shows uh, there we go. and we even get the picture of uh, the mother of Mary with baby Jesus there it is a cradled baby or that's the baby in swaddling clothing I have this video several times because light doesn't change how it reacts when it passes through a medium. So this was showing, <laughs> yeah, the baby Jesus in swaddling clothes, which was crazy. This video was about how light travels through an inertial plane from a vortex to a wave. Vortex to a wave to a zinch point, a z-pinch point, which is where everything crosses itself, reverses and inflects, and that is the travel of energy, vortex to wave. This video of course is the motion of everything, a field defined, showing that the pattern on screen is exactly the same as the shape shown under a ferrocell by a magnet. Water moves in the same pattern as electromagnetism and as I showed on earlier videos of lilies on a magnet in water, um, this shows that water is affected by the electromagnetism that is on the planet and so electromagnetism moves water and makes it create these patterns. 
This of course is my anchor and the Eye of Horus decoded using double helix energy flow and basically explaining everything about that. So yeah, that's got 40,000 views, 566 thumbs up to 65, so a lot of people have watched it and liked it. This was me explaining mag clutch braking on a magnet and showing that it also corresponds to uh, science that was in the news, which I don't seem to have a picture of. Do, do, do. Is it in here? The picture that I used on the thumbnail is the picture. But basically, it forms a standing wave. And so, because it's traveling as a double helix, which I showed earlier with the thread in water and it kept it uh, in the Ouroboros field due to rotation both left and right, any spinning thing put near a magnet inertial line will cause it to stop moving because it's counteracting the rotation. This is my video called The Last Secret Dielectric Vortex to Magnetic Wave Flow, wave flow Fully Explained. And of course, I've tried to build a three-dimensional model to highlight what actually happens and how the connections are made. This video, of course, is from 2016 and shows a sun flare when placed over the Marska, an energetic burst from the planet or a sun will cause the exact same signature. And that is the exact same signature. So. It's as if a planet came near to Mars and there was an electrical interaction and that came out of Mars. And every single indentation, car mark, you name it, is right there on both pictures. This, of course, is where I uh, falsify evolution and deep time uh, because all life is dependent upon energy and there's nothing here um, that has been made itself. Everything has been made by energy and so if energy levels fall devolution will take place and deep time will seem to occur because there was more work done in the past by energy and uh, that is shown in the rocks but now degradation is slower and so people assume that it must mean deep time when it actually means we now have less energy. This also goes along with DNA. We have junk DNA. Nope. Energy levels are so low, our DNA can no longer be activated. And that's why things devolve, not evolve. A cat will still be a cat, but it might not look like a cat when the next voltage drop passes. That cat will be a weird looking cat after that. Which is why there seems to be evolution of animals. Again, this was me back in 2016, showing that water rotates in the Fibonacci sequence, exactly the same as magnetism, and flowers, and heteromac formations, uh, which is a Peratt column, which is a plasma instability, and the same as magnetism, yeah. This is where I went beyond Tesla and Einstein, wave to particle explanation proven, mainly due to my experiments with vibration and dust formation, creating spheres, waves and vortices. It also shows how uh, vibrational waves can overcome a barrier by forming a bridge, as we see on the right there. Let's go back to that. We'll see a bridge forming up here where this double line is and that's where the vortex goes across and climbs over all these little things are bridges and the vibration forms a vortex climbs onto the wave and goes up this is me explaining how seeds are made in a seed pod on either side and this is due to rotation of energy placing matter in or outside of the pod and so you get a seed or you get a space. This is me uh, giving a detailed electric water bridge explanation, which of course is a double helix flow of one to the other and can only be caused by a differential rotation of two different fields, one negative, one positive. One is pushing, one is pulling. So one pulls the liquid from one, the other pushes the liquid from another. 
This is 2016, God's bull head LF means electricity and electromagnetism and I go on to explain this with different views of the changing uh, picture of God. I then even made a metal configuration which then when rotated in several different ways will show the different um, pictures that have been shown to describe God. I think I get maybe four or five due to how they are looked at and how God is explained by the pictograms that are given of him. This is where I talk about a plasma discharge, a heteromac in acoustic levitation and the fact that all things move the same way because energy only moves a certain way through matter you now get this heteromach formation in acoustic levitation which is the same as your backbone and ribs and how they are formed by energy this was me talking about a planetary z-pinch formation back in 2016 long before anybody else had any ideas and this shows that the uh, switchbacks that the solar Parker probe is talking about is because in my drawing energy flips backwards and goes in the opposite direction back towards the Sun and now it's been shown by the uh, Parker probe that this is indeed what happens the flow rot rotates back on itself and that's because it's a wave in space this was my prediction from vortex to wave to vortex which is exactly what happens to the en energy that just rotated out of this flare vortex wave vortex wave vortex this was my video about smoke ouroboros fields electromagnetic radiation Birkeland current energy flow which shows all the vortice arrangements there's what people call a torus but unfortunately so look at that again it looks like a torus but it's not a torus that's not a torus it's a rolled up scroll an ouroboros field a snake that eats itself again not a torus that's not a torus and it has waves going left and right so you would find that on this video this again is where I explain the structure of smoke energy which is the same as Tesla's fluid diode this shows the passage of steam in a pan to be a double helix horizontal vortex passage going left and right so this is another Ouroboros field this is where I spoke about x-ray flares from the Sun and times 10 powers from Revelation um, revelation is coming as a storm wind an energy waveform so I already said that some wave was going to come get us and now we find out that uh, Bernard's star has gone dim Beetlejuice's star has gone dim our star is the one in next in the way and I said it was going to be some kind of flare back in 2015 this is my video on biology how all muscles work it's quite simple and everything is electricity electromagnetism and works on halo waves and Ouroboros fields now we're back to 2015 February and this is where I showed uh, radiation flow double helix flow in snow uh, trees and heat radiation I do believe there's a lot of interesting I also have about three or four videos that show that this pattern obviously is repeated with skin and water and a heck of a lot of other things this was a video of me talking about Birkeland currents in smoke and showing oh come on showing uh, the Ouroboros vortex field in smoke so I have done many mediums
unfortunately my computer doesn't want to work but basically it shows double sheets and vortices this is where I explain how the Giants Causeway was formed showing by vibration that that is exactly what it will create all these uh, hexagons in the middle are exactly what has been shown from two um, vibration points you will get hexagons wherever there's a crack that's where energy came out which is normally the boundary and all energy is always moved to the boundary and that's where it escapes and of course there's just my testimony of visions from God my experience that is maybe an hour long yeah 50 minutes of me giving a basic explanation of uh, what happened to me this was called designer compound eyes or designed compound eyes and uh, tells you how to see a great many things <laughs> that you're told you can't see and I believe this also goes on to deal with why a fly's eyes are like they are and it's to do with vibration this is one of my biblical videos about Jonah and the electromagnetic well it is not a story about Jonah going to the depths of the sea it is about Jesus' Jesus's experience of visiting Sheol. Uh, I've broken down every single Bible miracle and explained it using double helix energy flow. All of them. Right up to the virgin birth. Uh, yeah, this is the wave motion time lapse eyes where if you stare at something and do not move your eyes, you will see all kinds of weird things like that. And basically I believe that you're seeing the individual spaces that are from the cones and rods that are in your eyes and you can actually learn to focus and see everything it's quite quite strange uh, this video is where I showed that my universal voltage drop video was confirmed and that we are losing power throughout the universe or at least our galaxy this video is how to see your optic nerves with your eyes closed which I thought was pretty cool. This video uh, is still uh, demonetized um, because I show that the million people that were buried in Egypt were the exodus millions who were who died. Everybody on this site is related. There's whole families, different families dead and this can only be explained by the plagues of God when the exodus occurred and the firstborn all died and they had to bury all these firstborn which would probably be about a million maybe less but all these people are related in some way they are not just oh there's a person there's a person no large families were buried this is where I showed how to part the Red Sea using a double helix waveform showing matter movements by wave rotation this was where I explained the uh, spiral power chi and yin and yang um, this is actually slightly wrong because it's based upon a reciprocating field of everything moving one way when in fact it does but I was under the assumption that this was a reciprocating field that did not meet at the inertial line but it does and the inertial line would be the line of arrows that's the only thing so this is slightly wrong but only because they don't meet but they do if I change the orientation instead of having the initial line here it is now here this is pushing this is pulling this is pushing this is pulling and you end up with a vortex that moves away from you and a vortex that moves towards you and this of course is me back in June 7th 2014 putting together a spreadsheet of redshifts uh, to earthquakes and you can definitively see that earthquakes on earth um, are green as they rise so do GRBs and so does redshift so when we have earthquakes more things are starting to be affected and that's from 97 to 2013 and all this spreadsheet does is rise we are getting more earthquakes getting more gamma ray bursts and getting more redshift stars that means there's a universal voltage drop happening 
This is where I first speak about Birkeland Currents, I believe, in 2014, May, due to the things seen. These are Birkeland Currents because we live on a diatom field surface, which has tubes going up in the air. This was a video where I try and explain universal voltage drop in a timed motion where an electrical field is suddenly broken and then we watch over the course of many seconds and we watch this little universe even though electricity has stopped flowing it is still bright and then it gets darker and darker and darker and smaller pieces are ignited as the universe becomes dark and filled with dust and so finally very very quickly um, we all die and this is based upon a timed inversal um, time is diminishing inversely via the square of the distance is how I've timed it so 14 billion years spread over 30 seconds timed at half half of that half of that and half of that seven times to give a result you'd have to watch it of course this was my very first video from May the 8th 2014 so it'll be six years this May and basically this video talks about <laughs> that's where I discovered and was shown by God how all things work with that picture and basically I talk about the visions I talk about things happening and then right at the very end I talk about why all the dinosaurs died and trees aren't as big as they used to be because there's been a voltage crash which God showed me and darkness is coming I even built this which was part of the uh, visions but that is the original double helix shape I saw with the circles one large one small both spinning and there we go I've come full circle back to everything I've said um, and it ends and starts with a voltage crash and the Sun goes out and uh, the sixth day is over and then it will be time for judgment all right Hopefully that entertained a few people. I just thought I'd do a recap so that anybody watching this would know, you know, that what I've done isn't crazy talk of me just shouting stuff and having zero evidence. I've shown things on a magnet that no man in our generation has ever shown. So I've shown that magnetic law and rules um, are actually incorrect. And it all comes down to that because all atoms have an electromagnetic field and if you base your physics on a reciprocating electromagnetic field every answer you get is going to be wrong whereas God's magnetic field which is the floor de lis can become any shape and build any kind of structure thanks very much my name is Lee I follow the Christ and I've shown you all the things he showed me Thanks a lot.